Breaking news alerts and the hour-by-hour -hour forecast from the Weather Authority. This is Local 12 News. There's a terrible pileup on 74. Where are you at, ma'am? Um, 74 West. West, um, just by the West Harrison exit. My mom's on oxygen and there's a ton of semis. Please hurry. Calls came in one after another as the cars piled up and drivers panicked. Good evening, everyone. We have seen a lot of the aftermath of the massive pileup on Interstate 74 yesterday, but now we are hearing about how terrifying it was for the drivers. Local 12 Sydney Banter has been listening to the 911 calls that were phoned in as all that chaos was unfolding. She joins us now live with that. Sydney. Hi, Paul and Brad. Imagine washing, watching massive semis slide past you, cars swerving every which way. Drivers and passengers and about 40 vehicles lived through the ordeal yesterday. But as cars crunched and tires screeched, there was sheer panic. I don't know. Look at one the cars. Help. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at one the cars. I don't know. Look the street. What kind of car are you in? A sea of white blanketed the interstate and blinded drivers Tuesday. Semis slid, cars crashed. It was utter chaos for hours. Yeah, we have a major accident on I-74, the 169. There's probably five or six tractor trailers, several cars, and they're still piling up behind us. After surveying the damage, Indiana State Police say a jackknife semi in the westbound lanes triggered the chain reaction crash around 11 a.m. I'm on uh, Interstate 74, um, just went into Indiana, and um, two semis just jackknifed on either side of me. Uh, one went off on the right, one went on the left, and one's blocking the whole interstate. So uh, I'm kind of freaked out right now. Dispatchers were flooded with calls from terrified drivers. There is a huge accident on the highway by Brookville exit. There's like six semi trucks and like seven cars. Okay, we got our there, way there. Are you involved? No, there's just people everywhere, and I don't know if anyone's hurt or not. Some were hurt, more were stunned. Six people were treated at Cincinnati hospitals. None of the injuries is life threatening. One look at the nasty pileup, and it's a wonder the outcome wasn't much worse. I'm just happy to be alive. And the interstate finally reopened last night after hours of waiting. First the eastbound lanes around 6, then the westbound lanes about two hours later. Paula? Mm, thank you, Sydney. That does give us a lot of insight into what happened. Well, the American Red Cross was on hand yesterday to make sure that the stranded drivers had water and were able to stay warm.